This is the second installment of maybe a series I'm going to be doing on uh, of goblin characters. Uh, it started off kind of looking like a pig, and I tried to correct that. And uh, one of the things I wanted to make sure I didn't do is to give all the goblins the same face. Uh, but I want to make a, a collection, a, a handful of goblin characters, because I like goblins, and I think they're fun, and I've been having fun playing with changing them around and making them fit in uh, weird, not uh, strictly fantasy costumes. Uh, but I wanted to make sure that I'm making them have their own individual personalities and their own individual faces, and uh, but still being goblins. So uh, the last goblin I did, if you saw that video, um, it's you know, Les Claypool as a goblin. This one, the prompt, was Babe Ruth as a goblin. Now, I didn't do, like, a, a Yankees outfit or anything because I'm kind of fitting them into a, a world where, like, baseball isn't the big, you know, thing that it became in the, in, in the real world. But I did kind of think that it was neat if there was, like, this industrial sort of setting and there might actually be uh, baseball. So I looked up some 1800s baseball bats to, to kind of get an idea of how they looked different. And they looked more club-ish, uh, which is okay because this is a goblin. And uh, if you translate it into RPG terms, the goblin can be wielding a club. So I gave him a little baseball bat. Um, I also decided that in this world, these goblins are uh, held captive and... Uh, I, I always kind of like the idea of, like, uh, oh, and this was the part where I had to decide the anatomy of, of a goblin before I, so I I made a decision goblins are mammals. That's what I've decided. Um, but I've also seen sometimes goblins hatch from eggs, uh, so they're a bit more reptilian. The, this one, I don't know. I, I, that's still subject to change. They're not real. They can be whatever you want. Um but uh, so I was thinking there would be a town where they have uh, a bunch of captured goblins that that play baseball for the entertainment of uh, the citizens or something. And uh, so I decided to design a little logo for these people. And, and ultimately, this is our um, this is our our goblin warrior who uh, is is part of this team of of baseball playing goblins. But he's the one who ultimately leads the revolt against their captors and, and sets all the goblins free. So this is a, a company or, a, or an owner's logo. Um, and I decided that Goodfellow is the name of this town that where these goblins play baseball. I don't know, because I thought it would be fun. Uh, Goodfellow being a reference to Robin Goodfellow. Uh, Puck from Midsummer Night's Dream, which why not make that a goblin? Um, I, I think it's fun. They're all sort of fairy creatures, and I can have them be goblins if I want. But uh, So there's a number three on there, which was Babe Ruth. Uh, and then uh, once I get to actually coloring in the skin, we're not quite there yet, but I, I tried to play with the, the three being sort of like a, a brand that he was given. Um, uh, kind of like a tattoo, but more like a, a burn scar. And, and so I... Uh, uh, there's I'm doing that there, so I put in some shading to make it look like it was just raised skin. And uh, I tried to do something fun with having the, the shading be this reddish hue. Um, I tried to blend that together with the, with the green skin, ultimately saying it's more of a kind of brownish, tannish skin with, with like a, a green tint. Um... I, I like what it looks like, but I don't know if I am 100% happy with it. So let me know what you think of that. Um, I decided to commit to it because sometimes I second-guess myself and I wanted to, you know, follow through and, and see how it ended up looking. Uh, here I am doing the teeth, putting in some shadow there. Obviously have to give them the gross, bloody, uh, bloody teeth to make the goblins as scary as possible. And I wanted these overalls. I, I tried to play with the overalls being uh, a person's clothes that would be way too big on the goblin. So they have to like where it's all folded up and, and the, the pant legs are rolled up. Uh, and I wanted to give it that denim color. And, and so I think that's pretty cool looking. I 
play through the uh, play with different shades and different colors and, and kind of mute that very vibrant blue a little later on. Um, the eye patch, I didn't want to just do a black eye patch, but ultimately once I colored everything else, I kind of figured the having it be this brown leather eye patch, it made it look very, made the whole composition look very muddy. So I think the, the black, um, almost uh, blue eye patch looked better. I'm pretty happy with how this bat started coming out. I wanted to make it look worn, uh, so I kind of like scratched up this this logo sticker. Uh, the blood on the bat didn't look great, so I kind of got rid of it. Uh, I I could probably make it look better, but at that point I was just kind of wanted to be done with the bat. I, I, I like what it looks like, and uh, I pulled a few people um, to figure out what's the best name for this character since he's based on on uh, Babe Ruth. I decided Bambino. So Bambino the Goblin Warrior. Uh, here he is. I hope you like this one. Uh, felt particularly rambly this time, but that's okay. Uh, anyway, thanks.